are you afraid of? From highs to missed calls of your mom, we're all afraid of something. Cyber Europe, Cyber Europe, a study written by Dr. Riva, says one out of ten people turned their fear into phobia. Dr. Riva says, and I quote, A fear becomes a phobia when it makes you avoid a thing that you fear and fills you with terror when you can't avoid it. Here are some causes of phobias, a very common phobia, my odd phobia, and how to get rid of them. So, many causes of phobias could be genes, and this is not because you might have the phobias that your parents have or that your grandparents have. It's not like that. It's because phobias have as a characteristic to make you anxious and nervous, and this comes in your genes. Uh, another reason could be traumatic life experiences. So, um, most phobias are created in a person's childhood or adolescence, and it can last up for months to a, to a lifetime. A very common phobia that people have is the one of speaking in public, or glossophobia. You probably know it as public speaking anxiety, or PCA. The University of Würzburg um, in Germany did a study about the reactions of people that had this phobia. And some of their reactions were angry faces, uh, forms of anxiety like flame with your hands or has 20 pounds. Um, the scientists that were in charge of this study recall that people that are socially anxious are more exposed to be to have this fear or phobia because they don't feel comfortable talking to many people. Luckily for me, I don't have this phobia, even though I do get nervous. Uh, I have different phobias, and I will tell you about one that usually people find odd. It's the phobia. What is this? This is the fear of fish. Uh, this is one of my worst phobias. I got it when I was six years old. Um, I got it when I was in Cancun, Mexico. We were swimming with dolphins with my family, and I was about this height, and dolphins are about six feet or more. So I was pretty scared because they made us go in like the middle of the pool and they were swimming around us and it was really scary. One of them got in between my legs and since I was so anxious, I was like trying to stay still. So that made me flip over. And since I had the lifesaver and it was too big on me, then my legs were up and my face was down and I couldn't breathe and then my dad had to save me and I could see the dolphins like inside the pool moving around and they looked like sharks so it was pretty scary for me <coughs> and then um, my parents thought I was just fine but it turns out I was not because then we went to a rivera and my mom wanted to take a picture of me and my sisters in a rock so she made a swim all the way there, but I really did not want to go because I was really nervous. And I guess when you're nervous, bad things happen because I got in and then I was like, okay, do you take it? Let's go. And I started swimming back and then I heard this noise and it was like, and I looked back and there were a bunch of fish swimming toward me. So I got really nervous and tried to swim even faster, but since that made me even more nervous, I could not move at all and I stayed still and my dad had to get in and save me. Uh, so some of my feelings were, well, obviously I tried to avoid fish as much as I can because I absolutely hate them. They make me really nervous. I can't breathe and I'm asthmatic. So um, whenever I see something that is really close to me, like fish, I, I'm out of breath, um, I start crying, my hands get shaky, and I'm paralyzed. Many people want to get rid of their phobias. I don't, because I'm afraid I'll have to deal with fish during the day. <coughs> but it is possible to get over them. Uh, experiments by the scientists from Nike Institute of Experimental Biology, a Polish academic 
Academy of Sciences have proved their effects. And there have been different experiments. One of them was to place new memory traces, a new concept. So they make you think differently about your phobia. The second one is they mess with your neural brain circuits. Um, the third one is the exposure to your fear in a safe environment. Whatever your fear or phobia is, you can get over it. Find a cause and look for a solution. Now you know some causes, a common phobia, my odd phobia, and how to get rid of them. Um, we're all scared of something in life, but not all of us are brave enough to get over them. Are you? Thank you very much. Let's give a round of applause. Thank you very much, Natalie.